Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another Glacial Geek Battle Report. I am Phil the Glacial Geek, coming to you here from Savannah Lion Games in Pooler, Georgia, for the first time, uh, where I will be fighting a thousand-point battle between my Death Watch and Marcus's Orcs. So the story that we've got going on here is that uh, an Imperial planet was invaded by the Orcs, and they had overrun the entire planet, and there was really no hope of, of bringing it back from the brink. Uh, they just couldn't hold out. Um, so the planet was being evacuated, but the Inquisition realized that there was uh, some look, there was some important technology on this planet that they didn't want to risk uh, falling in the hands of the Orcs. So they sent in a force of the Death Watch to go and destroy those pieces of technology before finally abandoning the planet entirely and possibly coming back uh, to exterminate us and clear off the Orcs that way. Um, so they were sent in to go take care of that. Uh, but the planet was actually had a, um, a, a, an empiric storm was raging. And the only way that they could guarantee that they could uh, get back up to uh, the battle barge that they had arrived on was by setting up these very powerful teleport homers. And the weird boy in uh, that was as part of this uh, orc force realized the importance of these and, uh, and told uh, his, his commanders there that they needed to be destroyed in order to keep the umis down here on the planet so they could just tear them apart uh so what we are going to be doing is actually one of the open war missions uh so we set it up and we drew the deployment this deployment how cool is this deployment straight up just like meeting in the middle <laughs> so then the objective we did was a burn and pillage so we each set up our objectives and those are the the objectives so the ones i'm trying to destroy are the technology that we were sent in to destroy and the ones they're trying to destroy are the uh are the teleport homers that are going to keep us on the planet if they manage to do so um and then we drew the twist which was set piece battle so we uh we um would set up our entire armies to get uh, at once as opposed to uh setting up unit by unit um and then you roll a die to see who goes first on a one the player who set up second goes first and the play uh, on a, a anything else the player who set up first goes first so i set up my army first we rolled the dice it came up one <laughs> so i will be going second unless i can seize the initial we'll get back to that in a bit uh so the objectives that we've got here mine are right here right here and then there's one inside the building there his objectives are along the back over here uh so that is the story oh and i got the ruse so i'm going to show you that ruse right come on show it right there come yeah, on all right that's the ruse right there you can see that so uh that is the ruse we will come back to you um that's the game that we're going to be playing today so uh before we go any further though let's show you the two armies that are going to be fighting it out so for the Death Watch, I'll be running a patrol detachment, leading off the detachment. I have a watch captain with a Xeno phase blade. We have an eight-man kill team with seven veterans, two with heavy thunder hammers, two with thunder hammer storm shields, two with Death Watch shotguns. We have a Vanguard vet with a chainsword and bolt pistol, and a sergeant with a Xeno phase blade. We have a five-man kill team with a stalker pattern bolt gun, an Infernus heavy bolter, and two frag cannons. We have a venerable dreadnought with twin las cannon, fist, and underslung heavy flamer. And last but not least, we have a Corvus black star with twin assault cannon and two storm strike missile launchers. And for the orcs, he'll be running a battalion detachment and a spearhead detachment. Leading off the battalion detachment, we have a Weird Boy and Zad Snark Da Ripa. We have two 20 man boy squads with shooters and two knobs with big choppers. We have a 22 man boy squad with sluggers and choppers and a knob with a big chopper. Then for the spearhead detachment, leading it off here, we have a big mech with a custom force field and a big chopper. We have a 10-man squad and a 5-man squad of Ludas. And last but not least, we have a 3-gun squad of Labas. All right, so those are the armies going over deployment here. I've got my Venerable Dreadnought over here on my objective. I've got my 5-man kill team over on here on that objective. I've got my Watchmaster back over, oh, Watch Captain back over here. I've got my Corvus uh, Blackstar there, and inside there is my 8-man kill team. Going of deployment now for the orcs. We've got his five-man Luda squad over here. 
we've got uh, the 20 man shooter, uh, shooter squad over here, the 22 man, um, uh, what are they, Choppa, Choppa, Choppa and, and Slugger squad over here. We've got Zad Snark right over there. We've got his uh, Big Mech and his Weird Boy right over there. And we've got the other uh, shooter squad over here. We've got the Labas and we got the 15 man Luda squad up there. Um, so that's uh that's a lot of boys <laughs> so we'll see what happens i think he's got he's got multiple units that are bigger that have more models in them than my entire army so this is going to be really crazy cool to see what happens so um so i'm going to roll to seize the initiative can i do it looking for a six show me that fill first no no fill phase so we will come back to you after movement phase for the uh for the orcs here on turn one all right, movement phase. Uh, actually, wanted to point out that I used my ruse, the ambush, to move my Corvus Blackstar over to this side from over there. So his movement phase here on turn one with the orcs. These guys moved up over here. They circled around the uh, the weird boy over this way. These guys all moved up this way, and the uh, Zatsnark circled around over that side. Um, and the all of these guys all stood still. So that is the movement phase. We will come back to you with the psychic phase. Throw kind of the middle zone. Yeah, so starting off the psychic phase here, he is going to cast the jump onto these boys here. So uh, he gets plus two to this. So looking for seven. So that is uh, gets it with seven on the dice plus two because there are actually 20 boys within six inches of him. Uh, so for every 10, he gets plus one. So that's a nine. So that goes off. And I've got no psychers to deny it. So we'll come back to you with the results of that. And they ended up back over here at this side of the table, looking at my my, my poor guys over this way. <laughs> so that is it for the psychic phase. So we'll come back to you with the shooting phase here on turn one. Starting this off here, this squad is going to fire into my, uh, my kill team over here. So you've got 38 shots coming in, hitting on fives. All right, we will come back to you with that. All right, so we got the men of hits and then strength uh, four. Strength four, so uh, wounding on fours. Oh, wow. Okay, so we got two wounds. All right, two, two up saves because they are in cover. And I failed one of them. And now this shooter boy squad is going to fire into them. So we've got 38 shots hitting on fives. All right, we'll come back to you with that. All right, so we got that many hits. Looking for fours to wound. All right, a little bit better there. So that's, uh, so what is that? Two, four, uh, two, four, six, seven wounds. Seven two up armor uh, saves. And I failed, oh, that one's cocked. So I failed one, I'm gonna spend a command point to reroll that. All right, so I make them all, woo! And now Zed Snark is gonna be firing into the squad over here, hitting on, uh, fives, hitting on fives as well. So we got two hits, wounding on fours. Uh, threes, oh, strength, yeah, what strength is it? Five. Oh, strength five, sorry, yes, hitting oh. on threes. Wounding on threes, so we got one wound. One AP. No AP. No AP, so looking for two up. He's good. And now the Labas are gonna fire into the squad over there. So we got three D6 shots. So we've got nine shots. We'll come back to that. All right, so nine shots hitting on fours. All right, so we got a uh, fair number of hits there. So we got uh, five hits. Strength five. Strength five, so wounding on threes. We got four wounds. AP, no AP. So eight, uh, four two ups. And a failed one of them. And now these guys are going to be firing into my Venerable Dreadnought over here. So we've got 22 shots, hitting on fives. We'll come back to you with that. So we got six hits. These are going to be wounding on fives. Uh, we've got three wounds. Three, three up armor saves. Uh, failed one, six up um, Venerable save. No, goes through, one wound. All right, his loot squad over here is going to fire into my Corvus Black Star. So, D3 shots. D3 shots each, one shot each. So we got five shots. Uh, they're usually hitting on fives, but he's uh, airborne there, so he's going to be minus one to hit. So looking for sixes. Uh, no, no hits there. And then the ten-man squad is going to be firing into my uh, kill team here in the building. 
so they're gonna have three shots each so we'll come back to you with that all right so we've got 30 shots coming in here hitting on fives all right we'll come back to you with that all right these are gonna be strength seven so these are gonna be wounding on threes all right so we've got one two three four five six seven eight wounds we'll come back to that all right so the ap is minus one so they are in cover so it's going to be three up saves and i failed oh failed four of them so that uh that's what is dead all right so that is it for the shooting phase moving on to the assault phase these boys are going to be charging into my venerable dreadnought over here so he's going to fire overwatch two shots with the twin last cannon hitting on sixes uh, nope, no hits there. So, looking for nine inches for the charge. Oh, and getting it. That's uh, not great. <laughs> All right, so in the fight phase, he's going to activate first over here. Uh, we've got, he's got a 22 man squad there, and they've got, uh, and then uh, one of those is the knob. So, we're going to go with the, the regular boys first. So because there's more than 10, right? Isn't it it's more than 10? More, than more than 20, they get uh, plus one attack. They also all have choppas, which give them plus one attack. So they're each attacking with four attacks each. So we've got 84 attacks that are gonna be coming in here. So we're gonna go, this is the two squad, two sets of 42 uh, into him here. So we've got 42 attacks hitting on threes. And we'll come back to you with that. All right, that's a whole lot of hits here. So now these are going to be wounding on fives, right? All right, so uh, strength four, toughness seven. So wounding on fives. All right, we'll come back to you with that. All right, so we've got 10 wounds there. Uh, 10 three up saves. Failed one, two, Three, four of those, six up, invulnerable, uh, ignoring moves. And that's cocked. All right, I got two fill forces, so that's uh, two wounds on him. Wow. And here comes the other 42. All right, we'll come back to you with the results of that. All right, we got that many hits, and then these are going to be wounding on fives. And we'll come back to you with that. And we had eight wounds from that one, so eight three ups. I failed three of them. Three six up, uh, ignoring wounds. Uh, no, nothing there. So he takes another three wounds, but he's still alive. And now the knob's going to be attacking him with his big chopper. So he's got three attacks hitting on threes. Ooh, no hits there. All right, now my dreadnought gets to attack back. He's got four attacks hitting on twos. All right, all hits. Wounding on twos. Uh, cocked. All right, so that is four, uh, that is four dead orcs. <laughs> All right, so that is the end of the orc turn here on turn one. We will come back to you after movement phase for the death watch here on turn one. All right, movement phase for the death watch. These guys disembarked over here and then he took off over that way. He advanced over this way and then uh, he's still locked in there. So that is it for the movement phase for the, uh, the death watch. We'll come back to you with the shooting phase. All right, so starting off here, he is going to, uh, my, my Corvus Black Star is gonna fire his twin assault cannons into his Ludas over here. And then he's gonna fire his uh, storm strike missiles into his Labas. So we're gonna go with the assault cannon first. Uh, 12 shots here, hitting on threes because he's got uh, plus one, uh, minus one for moving, plus one for uh, strafing run against ground targets there. So looking for threes to hit. All right, uh, strength six. Toughness four, so looking for uh, threes to wound. That's cocked. All right, ooh, pretty good. So we've got uh, four, six, eight, ten wounds. AP minus one, so plus one for being in cover. So uh, six up saves. All right, so we got ten. Ten six up saves. Uh, makes two of them, so they did. All right. All right, now my storm strike missiles. I'm going to fire one at the closest one and one in the middle one there because uh, they count as separate units once deployed. So we're going to go to the first one. Hitting on a three because of minus one for heavy, plus one for strafing run. That's a hit. Strength eight, toughness five. Toughness five, so looking for a three to wound. Uh, I'm going to spend a command point to reroll that. Yeah, that's a wound. AP minus three, plus oh, one for in cover. No. All right, and three damage. Uh, so. Okay, so 
Gun what do we got? Oh, so the first one is dead. All right. The second one hitting on a three. Nope. Blomp, blomp. Now this squad here is going to fire into these guys over here. So the only ones in range are going to be one of the shotguns and uh, my sergeant with the bolter. So we're going to go with the shotgun. He's going to use the crypt clear around. So it's uh, assault two, hitting on threes. All right, one hit. Strength four, toughness four, looking for a four to wound. Reroll f uh, failed wounds. Uh, nope, nothing there. And then his bolter, he's going to fire into there, hitting on a three. That's a hit. Wounding on twos because he's using the hellfire round. That's a wound. AP nothing. Six up safe. Uh, no one good. <laughs> All right, so that is it for the shooting phase. So moving on to the assault phase. Uh, these guys are going to charge into uh, them over there. So their charge distance, yeah, is totally in. So we'll come back to you with the fight phase. All right, so starting off with my squad that charged here. We're gonna go with the two guys with the shotguns and the Vanguard vet with the chainsword. So they've uh, they've all got uh, two attacks each. And then uh, the Vanguard Vet has a chain sword, so he gets plus one attack. So this is going to be seven attacks coming from them. Hitting on threes. All right, all hits. Pretty good. Wounding on fours. Huh. <laughs> Not as good. We got one wound. One six up. No, one dead. We got four attacks coming in from the guys with Thunder Hammers. Hitting on fours. All right. So we got one hit. Wounding on two, that's a wound. So that's uh, one just totally dead. <laughs> Green stain. Now the four attacks coming here from the heavy thunder hammers. All right, hitting on fours, wounding on two. <sighs> what? Oh no! And now my watch sergeant with the Xeno phase blade is gonna attack. So we got three attacks, hitting on threes. That's cocked. All right, so that's two hits. Wounding on fours. Ah, uh, that is two dead orcs. All right, so now my venerable dreadnought will attack back. He's got four attacks hitting on twos. All right, wounding on twos, and uh, that is two dead orcs. All right, so now his boys are going to attack here. Um, he's got uh, twelve guys left, including the knob, and they are all going to attack into my uh, dreadnought. He wants that dead. So uh, the red and black ones are going to be the regular boys, and then the white ones are going to be the knob. So these are all going to be hitting on threes. All right, we'll come back to you with that. All right, so these are all uh, all the hits. Uh, the green, uh, the green. <laughs> The red and the black ones are going to be hit, uh, wounding on uh, fives, and then the white one is going to be wounding on a, it's strength plus two, right? So wounding on a four. Or a strength plus two, right? Yeah, strength plus two. So they're base strength, strength seven. He's, oh, he's base strength five? Strength Ooh, five. gross. <laughs> All right. Oh, whoa. We're, I thought we were incepted there for a second. All right, I'll come back to you with that. All right, so here's the result. We've got uh, 11 uh, wounds from the boys, and we got the one wound from the um, from the knob. So the red's gonna be the one wound from the knob. The greens are going to be uh, from the boys. Greens are gonna be uh, looking for threes. The red's looking for a four. All right. All right, so I failed three. If I don't make any of these fill faces, he's gonna be dead. But, if I can make two fill faces, he'll still be alive. Let's see what happens. So we got three, looking for sixes, show me them fill faces. Uh, no, none, so he is dead. Does he explode though? No, he doesn't explode. Uh, yeah, so that's rough. All right, so that is actually going to be the end of the uh, the Dark Angel, uh, the Dark Angels, <laughs> the Death Watch turn here on turn one. Uh, he's still got 12 boys there, so they are uh, leadership 12, so they do not have to take a morale test. Uh, so we will come back to you after movement phase for the orcs here on turn two. All right, I was wrong. He lost eight guys over the course of, uh, over, over the course there. So um, it's actually eight plus D6. Uh, four is 12. Oh, but he's got 12 guys. Up, so they are good. So we were fine, but still, I, I, I thought, I, I was thinking if your leadership is whatever i was wrong completely so all right <laughs> now we'll come back to you after movement phase for the orcs here on turn two are getting ready to all right movement phase for the uh for the orcs here these guys are locked in combat these guys advanced up over this way his war boss 
Uh, Zad Snark moved up over this way, advanced over this way. He's just moved up over this way, I think. <laughs> These guys shuffled back there and gathered around the weird boy. Uh, these guys stood still and those guys stood still. Uh, so that is it. Oh, and these guys are still locked in combat. I think I have a note for your so, still yeah, he still sees my dreadnought. Uh, oh, that's right. Sorry. My dreadnought is dead. <laughs> I forgot. He's dead. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to, trying to slip it in there. You know, you don't know. You never know. Uh, so uh, that is <laughs> that is it for movement for the orcs here on turn two. We will come back to you with the psychic phase. All right, so the psychic phase here, he is going to try to cast the jump on them. So looking for seven. Oh, getting 12, because there's 20 in there, right? So he yeah, perils. <laughs> so D3 wounds. Uh, one wound. So he'll take a wound, but it does go off. So we'll come back to you with the results of that. And they jumped over to here to try to uh, maybe shoot him. So that's the plan. Uh, so that is it for the, uh, it's, it's, I mean, it's a pretty good plan. <laughs> so yeah, just throw it over there. Just, just, just throwing some rocks at him, but hey, you know, it could get, it could get sucked into the import. You never know. Uh, so that is, uh, it for the, uh, for the psychic phase. So we'll come back to you with the shooting phase. Starting off the shooting phase, these guys are going to fire into my Corvus Black Stars. So we've got 19 guys with the shooters there. So we've got 38 shots hitting on five, uh, sixes. Cause it's, Right? Yeah. Usually hitting on fives, yeah. minus one because he's in there. So looking for sixes. All right, we'll come back to you with that. All right, so we got six uh, hits there. So looking for uh, strength, what is it? Uh, four. Strength four, so looking for fives to wound. We've got three wounds. Three, three up saves. Uh, make two of them. And now that Luda squad is gonna fire into him. D3 shots each, three, we'll come back to you with that. All right, so 30 shots here, hitting on uh, sixes. All right, we'll come back to you with that. All right, we got six hits, wounding on fives. Toughness. Oh no, strength seven, so wounding on fours. Four. Okay. Forgot it was strength seven. So we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five wounds. Minus one AP to damage. AP minus one, looking for uh, four ups. Uh, oh, failed all but one of them, two damage each. So that's eight damage. Brutal. And now the Labas are gonna fire into him. So 2d6 between them. So we've, uh, 2d3 or 2d6? 1d6 uh, one each. 1d6 each. So we got seven hit, uh, shots that are gonna be coming up over there from them. Uh, these are going to be hitting on, uh, usually four, so hitting on fives. All right, so we got two hits. Uh, strength five. Strength five, so wounding on fives. No, no wounds. So that is it for the shooting phase here. Moving on to the assault phase. Uh, the war boss has the uh, has a special rule that uh, himself and any unit or any orc unit within six inches of him uh, can advance and charge in the same turn. So these guys are all going to be able to charge. So we're going to start off here. He is going to charge into my um, into my captain there. He's going to be using the uh, the hellfire rounds. So wounding on twos. Looking for a six to hit though. Hey, with a fill first, looking for a two to wound. That's a wound. Regular armor save? Nope. Four up. Four up? No, so he takes a wound and his charge distance. Uh, six inches? Ooh, is that I'm in? I'm not sure that's supposed to No, it is not in. Yo, he can re-roll it though. Here we go. Here we go. Nope. No, four inches, so he does not make it in. In. <laughs> All right, and these guys are going to charge into them with an 11 inch charge. They will be in. So we'll move them in and we'll come back to you with a fight phase. All right, so starting us off here in the fight phase, his uh, boys that charged in there are going to start us off. So they are going to attack into my uh, death watch over here. So we've got uh, 24 that are, or 24, so 12 guys that are within range, right? 12 guys that are within range uh, to attack. So they're going to have 24 shots from them. And then the, uh, the knob is also in range. So uh, the knob shots are going to be the white ones. So these are all going to be hitting on uh, threes. All right, we'll come back to you with that. All right, so that's that many hits. Let's see the wounds now. So they're going to be wounding on, uh, well, the whites are going to be wounding on uh, strength seven. So they're going to be wounding on threes and then the others are gonna be wounded on fours. All right, we'll come back to you with that. All right, so we got five normal wounds and one from the big chopper. So uh, the red is going to be the one from the big chopper. That's going to be looking for a four up. Uh, the greens are going to be looking for three ups. Uh, making them all, woo! All right, so now his other squad is going to attack in here. We've got, um, uh, 11 boys and the knob here. So we've got 33 from the regular guys and three from the knob. 
hitting on uh, threes. We'll come back to you with that. All right, so now they're going to be wounding on uh, threes and fours. All right, we'll come back to you with that. All right, so we've got 11 wounds from the boys, and we've got uh, two from the knob. So the red are going to be from the knob. They're looking for fours. Everything else is looking for threes. <laughs> that is rough. That is real rough. So that is uh, three, four, um, five, eight, nine wounds. Uh, yeah, they're dead. <laughs> Brutal! And that is it for the uh, the orcs turn here. I don't get to swing back because they're dead. So <laughs> we'll come back to you after movement phase for the death watch here on turn two. All right, movement phase for the death watch here. My captain is running towards that snark there. My flyer flying over that way. And that is it for the movement phase. <laughs> That's all I got left. So we will come back to you uh, with the shooting phase. All right, so my captain is going to fire into him with the bolt pistol. You use the hellfire round. So hitting on twos. <sighs> I'm going to spend my last command point on that one. <laughs> Oh, that is uh, supremely, supremely appropriate. <laughs> All right, and now he is going to fire his um, his the, the his twin assault cannon into them, and then he's going to fire one uh, st storm strike missile into each of them. So we're going to go with the uh, assault cannon first. So he's got um, I'm down into the second tier in my wounds there, so I'm going to be hitting on fours because plus one for strafing run, minus one for movement phase, uh, for moving with it being heavy. So hitting on fours. All right. T then. Strength six, so wounding on threes. All right, so we've got five wounds, AP minus one. All dead. All dead, so that's five dead. All right, so now we're gonna fire the Hellstrike missiles. The first one hitting on a four. That's a hit, wounding on a uh, strength eight, toughness five, so wounding on a three. The second one, uh, that's not a hit. All right, uh, so that is it for the shooting phase. We will come back to you with the assault phase. All right, now my watch captain is going to charge into Zad Snark here. So Overwatch hitting on sixes. We got one hit. Strength five, wounded on three. No, no wound there. His charge distance is totally in. Let's make this happen. All right, starting out the fight phase here. My captain is going to attack into Zad Snark there. He's got four attacks. Hitting on twos. All right. Wounding on fives because he's toughness six. <sighs> so now Zad Snark's going to be attacking back, hitting on threes. Twos. Oh, hitting on twos. All right. So that's uh, four hits. Strength 12. Strength 12, so wounding on twos. Oh, hey. <laughs> you roll like I do. I'm All right. So we got, oh, he's going to use a command point for one of those. <laughs> there we go. So that is two wounds. AP what? Uh, minus four. Maybe minus four. So he's got an iron halo. So I've got two four up invul saves. And I'll make both of them. Woo! <laughs> All right. And that is it for the death watch turn here on turn two. So we will come back to you after movement phase for the orcs here on turn three. All right. Movement phase here for the orcs on turn three. These guys are moving up this way. He moved up over this way. Zat Snark stayed in combat. These guys kind of shuffled around over here. Um, he moved up over this way, they stood still, and they stood still. And that is it for the movement phase. So moving on to the psychic phase, he is going to cast Smite into my, uh, into my Corvus Black Star there. Uh, getting it with eight, so D3 mortal wounds. One mortal wound. All right, so now moving on to the shooting phase, the, lo the, the Ludas are gonna fire into my Corvus Black Star. So D3 shots, three shots each. Those guys have been shooting so many shots! <laughs> 30. All right, so we got 30 shots coming in here, hitting on uh, hitting on sixes. All right, we got, what is that, it's two? All right, we got two hits. There we go, strength uh, seven, seven, right? So looking for force to wound. We got one wound. Should have brought a die. Looking for a AP minus one, right? Yep. So looking for a four up. He's good, woo! And now the lava is gonna fire into him, so 2d6. So we got six shots coming in here. Uh, these are going to be hitting on fives because of uh, 
the dude bros. So we've got uh, one hit, wounding on a uh, five, so that's a wound. Uh, AP, AP nothing, so looking for a three up. No, failed. Womp womp. All right, that's it for the shooting phase. Onto the assault phase. His big mech is going to charge in over there. So, 2d6 range, eight inches. He is in. All right, starting out the fight phase. His big mech with the big chopper is going to chop into my captain here. So, hitting on uh, threes. We got two hits. Wounding on uh, threes. We got two wounds. AP minus uh, one. So, we got two four ups. And I make one of them. And now Zad Snark's gonna attack in. Hitting on threes. Twos. All right, oh, hitting on twos, yeah. sorry. Uh, so that's five hits. Wounding on uh, threes. Oh, way better that time. Oh, so that's five wounds. So it's uh, five four up saves. Here we go. Can he do it? I need to make three, oh, how many wounds is this per? D3. It's D3 each. So really, I need to see five fill phases if I want to live. Can I do it? Can I see five fill phases? Come on, you know you want to. Do it, do it! Oh uh, no, none. So he is totally, totally, completely dead. <laughs> Just completely smushed by Zad Snark. Um, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, the end of the game because uh, my flyer can't cont can't pillage and burn any of his objectives, so he could just like wander around taking them as he so desired. Uh, yeah, that was brutal. <laughs> it just goes to show you the the uh, you know he had like I said he had multiple units that had more had more models in them than my entire army combined. And that just kind of goes to show you that elite doesn't always get you, uh, they're, they're cool, they got cool weapons if they get to use them, but he just swarmed me with the, with the jump and, uh, and just everything just got right in my face, grill turn one, and just made it really, 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 really difficult for me to do anything about it. So, uh, but I had a blast. I really had so much fun. Uh, this was, so this was my first battle report here in Georgia, which is uh, pretty exciting. Uh, here in uh, at uh, Savannah Lion Games, and I'm very very thankful for Marcus to to introduce me here for my first game here. Uh, so uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed it. I certainly have. I have been Phil the Glacial Geek as always. My opponent has been Marcus. And until next time, have fun. <laughs>